right, we are almost fully moved in to the new place. It is Labor Day weekend. It's Sunday morning. We've only got a day and a half left to get everything moved before the work week starts again. Um, and we close on our house. So we are almost done. We've got just a couple more loads, I think, that needs to go to a storage unit. Maybe one, maybe two more loads that need to come to the house. Um, to the new house. So yeah, we are we're slowly but surely getting there I haven't been vlogging a whole lot of moving because we haven't had a lot of time And so we're just trying to hunker down and get it done um, But this vlog we're gonna talk about downsizing with kids. So here we go We still have to take the mounts down, but oh my goodness, are you so excited to move? I still have to come clean everything. I'm gonna make sure we get a good deep clean for the people who are moving in, but oh my goodness. Whoa! I can't believe it. I really kind of can't believe it. Hello everybody. I've been trying to make this video for like two weeks, <laughs> but we've been really busy moving into the new place. Crew started soccer uh, games and we've just been really busy. So I'm finally getting a couple minutes literally to sit down and film this video. But we just wanted to talk about downsizing with kids. Um, we did it for a few different reasons, one of them being financial. Um, if you followed us for a while, you know that we recently paid our house off, our house we just sold, um, and we had every intention of staying in that house for a while, but um, someone was interested in it and we thought, you know what, we've been wanting to invest uh, in property for a while, and this was our opportunity. So we, we took it, um, and now we are, uh, pursuing other investments. So we, we've wanted to downsize for a while as well. We went from an almost 4,000 square foot house, which I loved everything about that house. It was perfect while we were in it. Um, the yard was great. The location was awesome. Like it, it was perfect for what we wanted at the time. But as things have changed, as we have sat down and gone through family meetings together, uh, and Ryan and I will do a separate vlog on what our family meetings consist of, what we talk about him and I, and um, what we go through in regards to planning for finances, family planning, nutrition, everything, um, like workout, everything. So we'll do a separate vlog on uh, family meeting and what exactly it is. But when we sat down and started talking about what we wanted to do in the future, which our theme has been less for us, more for others, and all for God. So we thought, you know, this is an opportunity for us to, even though our house is paid off and we didn't have a mortgage, we spent a lot of money in like electric bills and things like that, utilities, just because it was a huge space. So we thought we can save a little bit of money by going to a smaller space. Um, and also we want to live well below our means. So regardless of how much we're making in our careers, um, we want to, <laughs> spend less on our lifestyle so we have more to give to others um, and then more to invest in the future um, in other avenues uh, but anyway yeah and then a second reason that we wanted to downsize was to just be closer to each other you know we have um, we had an upstairs in the last place and Cruz's room was upstairs Winnie Fox's room was upstairs ours was downstairs and we just kind of stayed away from each other Cruz was, you know, always playing in his room, or we had two living rooms at the other place. What? Um, and there's nothing wrong with those things. There's nothing wrong with a big house. We just felt for our family, we wanted to be closer. Um, physically, um, spiritually, mentally, we wanted to be closer to each other, and we thought by living in a smaller space, 
We could accomplish that. So there's nowhere in this new place that I can't get to my kids within like 0.2 seconds. We went from almost 4,000 square foot <laughs> to about 1,400 square foot. So we're very close now. Um, <laughs> we're very loving. But those are the two main reasons that we downsized. Finances um, for investment opportunities. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. So finances, um, investment opportunities, things like that. That was our first reason. Uh, and then the second reason was, not in that order. <laughs> second reason was to be closer to each other and to just live in a smaller space, live below our means. So uh, those are the main reasons we did it. Here are uh, my feelings on it so far. We've been in the new place, in the smaller place, which is about, I think I said 14, 1500 square foot. We've been here for um, about a week, week and a half now. I love everything about it. I don't miss the big space at all. My kids don't miss the, the, the things that I had to get rid of. Like, I got rid of so many toys. Y'all, kids do not need that many toys, okay? If your kid has a ton of toys, I'm not judging you. It's not a bad thing. But if you are considering getting rid of stuff, do it. They don't need it, right? Um, like. I'm, I've started telling people, please don't buy my kids toys as gifts. Like, get them an experience. Take them to the movie theater. Take them to the water park. Like, whatever. Because they don't need things. They don't need that many things. So, we got rid of so many toys, and they have not missed one thing. Obviously, Winnie Fox is 10 months old. She doesn't care. Um, but Cruz is four, almost five. And I thought he would ask for things. Has not even cared. Uh, not one little bit. So... That's been really nice to kind of recognize they don't need that much stuff. Um, also, stuff for Ryan and I. We got rid of a bunch of stuff. We downsized from two dressers to one, um, and the one we went to was smaller than the other one, so like we cut over half of our wardrobe, and it was so easy. Like I don't miss any of it. Um, but yeah, that's, <laughs> that's been um, the biggest adjustment, I think, is getting rid of stuff, but we haven't even missed it. So it's been nice with kids downsizing with kids it's been absolutely amazing they don't miss stuff we don't miss stuff we're closer together we're literally like right on top of each other most of the time um but it's also encouraged us to like get out more so when we do feel cooped up um you know we bought an rv so now we just spend the weekend going in the rv which is even more on top of each other so that's ironic um but we get out more we get out of the house more we we go do things with friends instead of having friends over because there's nowhere really to put friends. So <laughs> we go out and we do things. We spend a lot more time outside, which is what we wanted. Um, but yeah, that's how it's been so far. Stay tuned. Um, like I said, we're going to do another vlog on our family meetings and what they consist of, what we talk about, what we plan for. So stay tuned for that vlog. Um, and then I'll do an organize and clean with me in the new place, in a smaller place. So thanks for watching and hanging in there with our family. Um, vlogs are going to be kind of spread out a little bit because we're still trying to settle into this new house but um yeah thanks for coming along on this amazing adventure of downsizing living below our means and changing our lifestyle so if you're interested in doing that put a comment down below uh, and we'll talk more about it if you've downsized with kids let us know your tips and tricks because we're still trying to get settled into this but thanks for watching everybody and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future adventures